every patient that we see and treat with ketamine um, has a tremendous improvement in their symptoms and we see it with pretty much every patient. We haven't seen a single patient where the treatment was not successful in a sense of relieving the symptoms of a variety of mental health disorders. Uh, and all the research that is out so far underlines how important of a treatment this is. Questions and concerns usually come from people who have not done the treatment, you know, and, and we don't see that directly here because the people who approach us are the ones that want to try it, that want to um, get this treatment. Painkillers, for example, have legitimate purposes in treating patients with pain. Um, but yes, they're being abused and um, there's a big black market out there and people overdose on those. Uh, but that just t doesn't take away the legit legitimacy of painkillers. And that's the same with other medications and ketamine falls in the same category. Can it be abused? Yes, um, but um, not in small doses that we provide here as an IV infusion. And I would never recommend anyone to try to use ketamine um, by him or herself because that's usually where the side effects and complications come from. It's from uncontrolled use by um, people outside of the medical field. It's hard to disconnect from his combat experience to everyday life. Um, and after a few treatments, I saw him again, and he seemed so much more balanced. Uh, and he seemed like um, he, he's really finding his way back into a normal civilian life, if you can call that. The risks usually come from the uncontrolled use. Uh, again, uh, um, anything technically can be a poison, they say. It depends just on the dose. So the doses that we use here are very small doses compared to what other people use, let's say, as a club drug to abuse this type of medicine. We use small doses. We give it in a very controlled situation as an IV infusion under medical supervision. Um, ketamine has been known to be beneficial for small children for uh, anesthesia purposes for many, many years. So it's been proven safe. Um, there's no long-term complications. And when you read about things on the internet, then it's usually from people who just bought it for on the street from their drug dealer and abused it for a prolonged period of time in uncontrolled doses. Um, and that's a whole different situation, basically. Treatments do people need? Um, a lot of the research was done with providing six treatments over a course of three weeks. Um, but everybody's different, so there's no clear guideline uh, because it's considered off-label use. Um, so it's all by um, preliminary research data that we base our protocols on, um, so what worked for others. But again, everybody's different. Um, I think he should be okay for at least a few months. Uh, and if he needs, uh, we call it booster treatment, whenever he feels necessary, that's definitely a possibility. Um, in the case of ketamine, it's not something that we made up. It's something that is out there that has been researched even by um, Columbia University, for instance. There's more and more in, um, institutions and universities that are really looking into ketamine. And all the research is very promising. So I figured, you know, especially with having an addicted patient population, this is something that would fit very well into our treatment program. And that's the reason why I decided, you know, to bring it back in. Ketamine um, is, is not a cure for any type of mental disorders, but it is another tool that we have in the toolbox. Because for a lot of mental disorders, 
all we have is classic SSRIs or medications that take, take sometimes months to work. The ketamine is especially in the news because it can help with patients who have acute suicidal thoughts. So people who really want to end their life. And how can we give them a medication and tell them, hey, you know, just wait six weeks and it may, may possibly work for you. So the ketamine is a fantastic tool to bridge the time, but it's not the grand solution. It's just a tool and that's how we have to see it. But if somebody has acute suicidal thoughts, then we need something that works right now at this minute and not six weeks from now. But it may be able um, that the ketamine bridges the gap you know, for the long-term medications to take effect.